Okay, okay, let's have choir on the set, please. Let's start the additions to replace my good friend and pal, Ricky O'Barry, okay? Luckily, luckily I have a lot of contacts in the entertainment world, and I was able to get my good friend CeeLo Fane from The Voice. That's CeeLo Fane. And the other one is Polly Mandel. I don't know how they'll be after today, but they were friends of mine this morning. All right, all right, all right. Stop fooling around now. Come on, let's get the first person out here. I haven't got all day. Hello, Gretchen Arndt here, member of the Screen Actors Guild. I will discuss this opportunity with you, but I have some demands. You have some demands? What are your demands? First of all, at all times, I require a bone china cup filled with Earl Grey tea and organic honey. That sounds reasonable. What else? I like to be shot from the left side. It's my better side. It looks like we got ourselves a diva here, guys. We're going to have to handle her accordingly. Okay, lady, what are your short-term goals now? To make it through this interview without passing out. What are your long-term goals? To make it to the day when the rash finally clears up. So, how are you doing nude scenes? Well, it depends on how hungover I am. Bring in the next schmuck. What the heck happened to this guy? Looked like he swallowed a helium balloon. All right, Dingling. What's your name? Uh, my name is John. That is going to leave a mark. This guy looks like a real winner. Uh, my name is John Garrett. Okay, okay, enough with the name. Tell us a little bit about yourself now, will you? Yes, I have a dark and checkered past. That myself and 62,000 other people are trying to forget. It is so very nice to be here, but how can I be? in front of an audience when this microphone is up so high. Please, please, I'm only four feet seven. Okay, okay, keep your shirt on, lady. Oh, mother of a counselor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Patrick O'Hare. What is it again? Patrick, Patrick, Patrick O'Hare. Now we'll be able to have a wonderful discussion here. What's your name? My name is Dr. Ruth Westheimer. What do you do for a living? I am a sex therapist. Oh, God, a sex therapist? Do we really have to go there? Um, listen, darling, is there anything I can do to help you? Lady, there is nothing you can help me with. Boy, I'll tell you guys, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Okay, bring us the next victim. Ah, uh, that would be me. You actually look dignified. What made you come down here? Well, I, I, I heard you were looking for a replacement for uh, Rick Barry and the uh, annual St. Patrick's Day breakfast. Those are pretty big shoes to fill, my friend. What makes you think you're up for the job? Well, um, I've got some qualifications. Uh, I'm pretty bad at telling jokes like Rick was. Yeah, well, that's pretty obvious. And um, I always did like to talk to rabbits. Who do you think you are, Dr. Doolittle? Hey, be quiet. That's a plus, you know. Is there anything else? Well, uh, there's the, uh, the physical resemblance. Hey, you. I was a friend of Rick Barry. I knew Rick Barry. I was very close to Rick Barry, and you, sir, are no Rick Barry. Well, 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 wait, well, I just need one second. I just have to, I have to brush my hair a little bit. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, he's going to brush his hair. All two of them. Rick Barry? He looks more like Rip Taylor. I think we could have been twins, actually. Okay, enough, enough. The pickings are getting slim. We got one more left, boys. Good afternoon, gentlemen. What are your names, please? 
State Senator, former state Senator, Senator Jim Giugiorno, former, uh, former State Police Officer, former Secretary of Public Safety, current President of the Greater Haverhill Chamber of Commerce, the greatest chamber representing 14 communities in Massachusetts and Southern New Hampshire. All right, gentlemen. What makes you think you're qualified for this position? Well, I mean, well, with my all, impressive resume of representing Essex County for numerous I years, Methuen, I mean, not only did I fight crime and bust drug dealers for years and years, but I mean, I just keep winning elections. It's like people can't I'm, get enough of me. I'm Ginger Juga. I mean, I was a Secretary of Public I'm Safety, which is the highest ranking right. official. I mean, well, my wife is hot. So, what was your motivation for coming down here then? This is where the bus dropped me off. Okay. Someone comes up to me and tries to harm me. Would you kill him? I will take a bullet for you any day of the week. I'm desperate and no one else will hire me. So, are you willing to do nudity? If my wife lets me. Is it true you used to go to John Edwards' hairdresser? That was never proven. Are you sure you need no help? No! You like cheeseburgers? Yes. Have you ever done nudity before? Uh, twice last Tuesday. You like your cheeseburgers with fries? Well, of course. It's been reported that you're the one that taught Tim Murray how to drive. Is there any truth to this? That was never proven. Hey, sex is wonderful. You do not have to be ashamed of it at all. You want a cheeseburger right now? Absolutely. I know you used to be president, but are you still a client? No. You've been awfully quiet during this whole thing. Do you have any questions for us? Does this job come with a pension? Because I only have two right now. Okay, okay, okay. Enough monkeying around. What are you going to do for us? What's your talent? Well, as my people back in Bally de Hobe would do, they would dance for you in the Irish tradition. That's it? That's all we got? Oh my god. None of them can replace Rick Barry. None of them can. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do. All hope is lost. We've got a winner! Yes, that's right, we've got a winner. Winner? What about us? Don't we get a say? You guys have been outvoted. It's up to me. There's my winner right there. I'm out of here. I wasted two and a half hours of my night at HCTV for this. Hey there, cutie. You ain't one of them Playboy bunnies now, are ya? Was that a carrot in his pocket, or was he just happy to see me? How would you like to come with Patrick O'Hare? over to my hall, and I'll introduce you to my casting couch. See you later, suckers. Patrick O'Hare will be back when he's good and ready. And a happy St. Patrick's Day to you now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of What's Happening Havel. My name is Rick Barry. Merry Christmas, everyone. My name is Rick Barry, and I'm usually on What's Happening Haverhill, but today I have a special, special thing to do. All right, so we're about to begin. Is everybody ready? And you just raise your right paw if you have the answer. It's a wonderful time of year. If you look out the window, the snow is probably disappearing. 
It's not as cold as it used to be, and we look forward to spring. And my favorite event of the whole year happens in the spring. It's the St. Patrick's Day Havel Exchange Club Charity Breakfast. How's that? That's even better. Not for us. Get off! Yeah. Patrick, what yeah. What? I got something in my tooth. Can you get it for me? No, you're on your own. And the reason we're here is because it's the time of year when people get out to the castle and bring gifts and toys and donations so that the Salvation Army can help some people who may not be able to go out and uh, do a lot of shopping. And so there's no confusion, it won't be a post-St. Patrick's Day breakfast from now on. Every St. Patrick's Day you need to be here because this is where we're going to be. And what school do you go to? Sacred Heart Sacred Heart School. Are you the principal? No. Alright, well you will be someday. Patrick! Patrick! I'm here at the Haverhill Country Club. I'm looking all over for Patrick O'Hare, the rabbit from last year's St. Patrick's Day breakfast. You're not going to believe this. You won the world's biggest stocking. Look over here. Look behind you. That's all yours. Great. Are you lying? <laughs> I'm a politician and a lawyer. Yeah, well, well don't, you're no comedian, I'll tell you that. Patrick! Hey! Patrick! How you doing? Oh! Um, how you doing? I've been looking all over. Well, Ricky, how do you like the way I talk and my lips don't move? It's unbelievable. Well, thank you for joining us. We hope to see you at the big holiday on March 17th. <laughs> and uh, if we don't catch you there, We'll see you soon on what's happening here. We'll miss you, Rick. We miss you, Rick. We miss you, Rick. We love and miss you, Rick. We know you could ever be replaced. No one could replace you. No one could ever replace you. You can never be replaced. I love you.